After spending over 30 years in Sweden, Mila is showing us today how to make original Swedish meatballs. Yes, it will be fine to cook with you. Let me start. I'm using one pound of beef okay. and one pound of pork. Of pork, okay, very good. So it's a combination of two different meats. Yes. Adding about a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Uh, dry parsley. Yes. Fresh would be better, right, Mila? Don't you agree? I agree, but we don't, don't have, have it. That's right. <laughs> so, if you have fresh parsley, use fresh parsley. If not, um, approximately about a half a teaspoon of dry parsley and some salt. It's a quarter teaspoon. Yes. Okay, of salt. Okay. It's very nice. You're not using a lot of salt in your recipe. One That's egg. Good. Okay, one egg. Good. of dry oregano. For our young cooks, Mila is showing how to use a spatula to mix this. But she was telling me, you yeah, know, this is the best to do with your own hands. And she promises she washed her hands before she started cooking. Yes, I did. <laughs> All right. Just add the garlic. Half a cup of water. And this is a temperature, room temperature? Correct. Yes, it is. Good. Um, tomato. One. How much? One third cup of tomato sauce? Yes. Tomato right. sauce. Start again. Now, we're going to add half a cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. In addition to breadcrumbs, Mila has added two teaspoons of a chicken bouillon. Uh, this is a powdered chicken bouillon, and um, I guess that's the reason why she used very little salt in the beginning. So um, you can uh, you can use a cube of a chicken bouillon, or you can no, use a for beef bouillon. Beef bouillon, even, beef better. bouillon is even better. Very much good. better. Much better. Okay, so you've heard her. She said in addition to uh, salt, you should use a little bit of uh, beef bouillon. Preferably if you have it in a powder. If not, you can use a cube. And let's not forget Parmesan. You got a half a cup Parmesan, Mila? Yes. Good. Half a cup of Parmesan. Mix it again. And then we are ready to roll, right? Yes, we are ready to make some balls. Okay. All right, are we going to bake these meatballs or are we going to uh, fry them? We are going to fry them. Fry them. Is that how it's originally done in Sweden? Yes. Yes, okay. On the last. So you can mix it to combine all the spices and flavors, yep. right? That's right. Very good. So the reason here, I'm just looking at you cooking and I'm thinking about the water. So you added a little water because of the breadcrumbs. Yes. And to add a little moisture to the meatballs, correct? Yes. Okay. That's right. Last ones, okay. So the last step is to roll the meatballs in flour, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's something I didn't know. I learned. See, cooking with Mila is fun, and you learn something all the time. Yes. In the process, Mila is adding a quarter cup of real butter, and on the side she has some oil, and she explained to me that she will be adding oil only as needed. So let's see what she has in mind. So you could just start how much oil you're adding, Mila. What do you think you got there? Maybe a third of a cup? Yep. Third of a cup, third okay. Of a cup. In, yes. about, in about a um, quarter cup of butter. And here what we have boiled potato uh -huh. with a little bit of salt and uh, bay, leaves. bay leaves. So we're making mashed potatoes mashed with potatoes this? Mashed potatoes with okay. maple. Woo! Baby! The sound of this makes me happy. Just looking at this food. My mouth is watering. Oh, it's really good. Okay, so we have potatoes cooking, meatballs are frying, and the next thing is sauce. Sauce, yeah. Okay, let's see what you're gonna do with sauce.
what a thing. This is so beautiful, and I wish you guys are here with us in the kitchen to smell this um, aroma of garlic and parmesan and all the wonderful spices you know, here in Funny to cook with you, Gladam. It's and it's fun. It's funny. You just said it's funny. You see how Swedish people talk? Funny. I think Mila, you meant fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. Um, well, Mila said it's fun to cook with me, although I haven't helped her much. But um, I would say it's fun to cook with all of you. It's fun to see uh, your comments and your suggestions and all of your support. And and this is, has been a great encouragement to both me and Mila to continue to share a recipe. The best part. Mashed potatoes. And Mila made these mashed potatoes with the goat milk and a little bit of butter. I'm gonna use a little bit of this sauce. Okay. I like these tomatoes, how they, uh, they add a little more character to sauce just by showing these little red dots. And then you can serve meatballs on side or you can just add them on the top. I'll go ahead and serve it on side. This. this looks amazingly beautiful and can't see it again. Let's eat now. It's finished. Okay. Looking good.